Welcome to your U.S. Army Central Update. I'm Staff Sergeant Jaime Hernandez. In the event of an emergency landing in the water, sharp skills are a must to be successful in the recovery of personnel. Army Sergeant Rick Bush takes us out to the Northern Arabian Gulf for a search and rescue exercise. U.S. Army Central soldiers conducted a personnel recovery exercise with the United States Navy's Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 26. The joint at-sea search and rescue exercise simulated a distress call from a UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter that went down with four crew members on board. Personal recovery is extremely important in any event where you do happen to come into an isolated person situation. So actually knowing the capabilities of the equipment that we're supposed to use in such situations and getting some comfort level with that, in addition to all the echelons above us that need to coordinate with this to make this exercise effective, it's very comforting. Part of the exercise included a life raft getting dropped out to the survivors so they could deploy it and climb inside. At that time, an ammunition casualty equipment or ACE report is conducted while using a C-cell radio to report that a personnel recovery mission is underway. There's incidents all around where isolated persons, it actually happens. And it's not something you want to wait and be reactive on. So having a plan in place and knowing the operational capability and where improvements can be made is huge for their, their overall effectiveness and comfort level for the command, knowing that they do have personnel recovery under control. Reporting from the Northern Arabian Gulf, I'm Army Sergeant Rick Bush. That was your U.S. Army Central Update. I'm Staff Sergeant Jaime Hernandez.